Hello friends, welcome to my channel Civil Smart. Today we are going to design a flat slab that is the interior panels we are going to design with a condition that without drop, drop is not there and even the column head is not there, right? So we have a condition like design the interior panel of the flat slab. We have to design this interior panel having a size this much and without proper without providing a drop and the column head. We will go for the different steps. We will find the effective depth by this spreadsheet. We need to only fill these data in these pink cells only, right? This channel is basically for the structural design engineers and students like Amtech and BTEC to civil students, architects, site engineers, contractors having interest in analysis and design of the building. As we all know that the manual calculation for the structure elements like beams, slabs, column footing, water tanks, staircases takes too much time, right? And it's a very tedious job also. Hence, by this channel, that is civil smart, we makes it very easy, quick and simple way to design each and every design members of RCC element through this spreadsheet with a detailed explanation in videos on the analysis design and detailing of each and RCC member. Like we have created a playlist like in actual footing sheets, we have 21 spreadsheets are there. In RCC water tank, we have designed staircases de design spreadsheet, wall design spreadsheet, different types of wall design, slab design, we have eight numbers of spreadsheets are there. Column design, all types of columns are there. G plus one residential project and live project we have done. So these spreadsheet saves a lot of time and ingenious and increase their knowledge by visual diagrams like SFD, PMD and shear checks and deflection checks. Clear detailing of the members based on our IES code that is 456-2000. Hence, I recommend you to go through my channel, my videos and use this spreadsheet to make design easy and quick. Right. And if you want these sheets, spreadsheets, you can get through the link in the description box by paying a nominal fee. We, firstly, we will calculate the effective depth by this sheet. Next is the dead, dead load calculation. It will automatically calculate the dead load calculation. Next is the calculation of stiffness and the alpha C. In the case of flat slab, we need to calculate the stiffness and alpha C. And very important step that is the step four, check for the correction due to the pattern loading. And this step is only applicable if the live load by dead load ratio is greater than five otherwise we can skip this step right so we need to check for the pattern loading correction for the longer side even as well as for the shorter direction next is the design total design movement will be calculated by this sheet next steps is the co column strips and the middle strip you need to find in the case of flat slab you need to divide it in the column strips and the middle strips Next is the, it will calculate the reinforcement. Final aim is the reinforcement calculation in the longer direction, along the longer direction and along the shorter direction. Based by this table, tabular form, it will automatically calculate. Next is the two-way shear check. We will check it for the punching shear that it will not fail against the two-way shear, right? Finally, the detailing, it will give the detailing of the, this interior panel detailing will be come automatically over here. And the, this is the section. So let's start. So we have the problem that we need to design an interior panel for the flat slab panel that is 4.5 and 6 meter. 4.5 is our shorter dimension, 4.5. You need to check the this sheet along with these diagrams that will give the design, right? So LY is our 6 meter. Live load in our case is 4 meter, sorry, 4 kilonewton per meter square and roof finish is 1. And column B, dimension of column is 300 by 400. Column B, width is 300 and dimension is 400. FCK, we need to go for the M20. And FY is 415. And height above and below the column is, column height is 4 meter. Right. So we have filled our data in these cells. Next is, we need to calculate the depth of the effective depth or the overall depth of the slab so we have two criteria it's a two-way slab and IES code have given us two criteria that if the LX is up to 3.5 meter that is the shorter span or the live load is also less than 3 km per meter square then you will have to calculate the overall depth by this formula that is for continuous slab L by D ratio is 40 but in our case LX is greater than 3 so you need to fill this actual sheet right you need to fill the span over overall depth it will give the overall depth then assume the depth assume the bar dia clear cover 
but in our case lx is 3 point greater than 3.5 meter right 4.5 and live load is also greater than 4 kilonewton per meter square so we will calculate by clause number 23.2 by is code 456 2000 in this case to assume we have to assume the pt percentage of steel reinforcement right we assume for 0.3 or 0.4 percent and by this graph we can find the modification factor 0.4 and this 0.58 fy area of cross section by area of cross section of steel provided is 1 so fi is 415 this comes out to be 240 so 0.4 and 240 this is 1.3 so modification factor comes out 1.3 right so l by d ratio is 0.9 into modification factor into 26 26 for the continuous slab we all know that it is given in this this thickness of flat slab the thickness of flat slab shall be generally controlled by the consideration of span to the effective depth ratio 23.2 clause of is code so otherwise the span to the effective depth ratio obtained by this accordance with the 23.2 shall be multiplied by 0.9 right and for this purpose longer span shall be considered point should be remembered that the longer span should be considered for calculating the effective depth so 160 has been come out so if we assume and the minimum thickness of the slab shall be 125 so it should not be less than 125 in any case right if we assume the effective depth 175 greater from 160 assume the bar dia is 10 mm and the clear cover for the slab is 20 mm so finally the overall depth comes out to be 200 right so next is the dead load calculation which is very important step so already the dead load has been calculated total dead load of the slab is 10 because the self weight has come out with 5 by this formula this is density overall depth we have already calculated 200 right into weight weight assume as the 1 meter so self weight of the slab is 5 total load on the slab is 5 is the dead load and live load is 4 and the roof finish is 1 so hence the sum is 10 the factor load 1.5 we will multiply for the design purpose and this comes out to be 15 kN per meter right LX has been calculated shorter span clear span because this is the this is the center to center spacing 4.5 meter and this is the 6 meter center to center spacing so clear span is 4200 in LX direction shorter span in ly direction clear span is 5600 right so next step is calculation of stiffness how much the stiff is our flat slab or column right and alpha c value so alpha c will be calculated along the longer direction and as well as for the shorter direction that alpha c is given by summation of kc upon ks that is stiffness of column stiffness of the slab for the slab stiffness ks is calculated as 4 ei by l this is the formula and this value comes out to be this much how this value come e is the modulus of elasticity that is constant i is the moment of inertia if you are going for the longer direction so length l capital l is the length that is 6000 mm right it has been calculated and bd cube b will be 4.5 right bd cube and d is the we have already calculated d is 200 so bd cube over 12 ks is being calculated for the column 4 ei by l and that is bd cube over l so b is 300 by 400 b is 300 400 cube over 12 right so it has been calculated kc now alpha c for the longer direction submission of kc upon ks this is the ratio and this comes out to be 0.8 that is calculated value right and for the shorter span same alpha c value will be calculated as 0.253 calculated right now check for the correction if correction is required for the pattern loading is or not so the condition is that if live load by dead load is greater than 0.5 then only the correction is required if it is less than or equal to 0.5 then the no correction is required so in our case a live load by dead load is 0.67 so there is a note there is the section comes the check for pattern loading is required if we change our live load like 3 then what is comes check for the pattern loading is not required skip this step right 
so this is very much important so if we change this by 4 check for the pattern loading is required now we have to check along the longer direction as well as for the shorter direction where the correction is required or not so in this case l2 by l1 we need to find the l2 by l1 because the loading pattern is given by this sheet this is given in page number this is 56 table 17 of is code so l2 by l1 is 0.75 live load by dead load is 0.67 this is the ratio we need to find in case of longer direction l2 by l1 l1 is the working direction that is 6000 and l2 is the transfer direction that is 4500 it should be noted right right so if l2 by l1 is 0.75 right so l2 by l1 is 0.75 so it comes between 0.5 and 0.8 so if you choose 0.5 and 0.8 is there the value of alpha c minimum we need to find the alpha c minimum it comes out to 0.683 and the same if i load by dead load is 0.67 so one we have already calculated like this 0.5 and 0.8 that live load by dead load ratio is one you can see that one right so we have already calculated 0.638 so at 1 is also 0.638 will be there and at 0.5 the alpha c minimum is 0 so 0.67 this is live load by dead load is 0.67 it has been calculated as 0.228 so for minimum from these two values of alpha c minimum we will compare it by alpha c calculated for longer direction that is 0.8 right so for alpha c calculated is 0.8 alpha c minimum from these two direction minimum of these is 0.228 so no correction is required right if alpha c is calculated is greater than alpha c minimum then no correction is required next check for the along the shorter direction same l2 by l1 is 1.33 i what is l2 this is for shorter direction l2 is this one. right so L1 is always the working direction and L2 is the transfer direction perpendicular to that particular direction right if we are going for the shorter direction if you are going for the shorter direction the working direction is this 4500 is L1 and L2 is the transfer direction that is 6000 right so the same 1.33 has been calculated 1.33 will fall between 1.25 and 2 right so we will choose 1.25 and 2 the value of 1.33 comes out 0.844 similar at 1 0 0.844 0 0.5 alpha c minimum is 0 l w live load by dead load is 0.67 at 0.67 this value comes out to be 0 0.281 now we have to take minimum of these alpha c minimum so alpha c minimum is 0 0.281 alpha c is calculated as and the shorter direction is 0.253 right now in this case alpha c calculated is less than alpha c minimum now the case is correction is required now got you in this point so finally what will be the correction correction will give by this formula this has been given in the is code at page number 56 clause number this one so we need to find the correction is 1.01 .01, that is correction required in percentage is 1 so 1% 1 correction is required so finally we have calculated alpha c the correction is required check for pattern loading is there check for pattern loading only the live load by dead load is greater than 0.5 they should be noted now in this next video we will calculate the step 5 that is total design movement this has already been calculated i will explain you in detail the column strips will be already been calculated this will be all be this will be explained in next video part 2 the reinforcement we can check the re reinforcement all already been calculated in the shorter direction has been calculated check for two way shear is calculated now in this case shear reinforcement are required i will explain you what we will we'll do we will go for the shear reinforcement or not and finally the detailing detailing of the interior span the interior span divided into column strips and middle strip i will explain you in next video part 2 you can see the all the details of the reinforcement how much the reinforcement is required has been calculated and the section has been calculated so friends if you like this video please subscribe my channel 
for more design videos and if you want this extra sheet the link will be in description box you can also mail me on my whatsapp number thanks for watching